Okay, so while I was in San Francisco, I spoke with Jim Thebo. If you guys don't know who Jim Thebo is, he uh, he runs everything at Deluxe. That is Thunder, Real, Crooked, Spitfire. All of those brands under that distribution, uh, under that umbrella of distribution. I don't know why I'm wording all this weird. Anyway, Jim reached out to me a little while ago, I think on Twitter, and then he reached out to David, and then he did direct messaged me. So we've been in contact, and we like got to know each other, we've had conversations, and dude is a really awesome dude. He's a genuine, sick person. And I'm not just saying that because, oh, he sent me a box. That's what this is, he sent me a box. I'm not just saying that because, oh, he sent me a box. He's really cool, he's really nice, because yay, he gave me free stuff. But, no, he's actually a genuinely nice, super down-to-earth person. And that's always appreciated in, really, in anything. A genuine nice person is appreciated regardless of in anything, but especially in skateboarding where, um, there can be a lot of cool guy action and people can be pretentious about certain things. So, Jim, you're awesome if you're watching this. Um, but he sent me a box and I'm gonna open it. I know one thing that's in here, but... Yeah, I don't know, let's see what else is in here. It sounds like there's a lot of stuff. So I asked him to send me some trucks, some, some Thunder lights, so that I could compare light trucks versus your standard, regular, heavy truck. So let's open this box, let's see what we got. I have a razor today to open box. To open box, not keys. Dude, what? Well, we got a lot of stickers. He sent me a lot of trucks. You guys. This is insane. Look at all of this. These are all trucks. He literally sent me one, two, three, four. He literally sent me four pairs of trucks. That is insane. I asked for one and he sent me four. Okay, so these are the trucks we are going to be comparing. Actually, well, just for the sake of showing you guys the, the two, um, I actually have a pair of these that are pretty brand new on my skateboard right now. These are the 825-148s. These fit an eight and a quarter size board. Now, these are the 148s, 825, but hollow lights. Hollow lights, meaning the entire axle, let's see if you can see through it. Yeah, you can, look. The axle, this is the axle of the truck. The axle throughout the entire middle of the truck is hollow. It goes all the way through. So, we're gonna test and compare the hollow lights versus, versus the standard regular 148s. And basically, we're just gonna see what kind of differences we experience. Now, I know there are some concerns, at least when they came out, when hollow trucks first started coming into the skateboard world, there were always like questions about, oh, well, is the axle weaker? Are they gonna break? I can attest to saying no, that they won't because I've skated hollows before, but I would like to just compare both trucks in one session and see what kind of differences I notice when doing flip tricks, when doing grinds, when riding, just when doing all of your basic standard regular skateboarding, I just wanna see what kind of differences we might experience. Now, I know right away by holding these, I can feel a slight difference in this. Now. It's not like a major difference in weight compared to like if somebody weighs 180 pounds versus somebody weighs 130 pounds. There's a 50 pound difference there. It's a big difference that you could tell if you were trying to pick up a human. But, oh, ounces of difference. But in skateboarding, you can feel that. If a board is heavier, you can feel it. If the wheels are heavier, you can feel it. So I'm gonna set these up, and yeah, we're just gonna test them and skate them. I have all of my necessities here. These are the trucks I'm currently skating. We will not be skating these. But I have a board, and I have a board under here. The titanium trucks and the hollow lights. So what I'm gonna do is set up two boards. The wheels are the same size, and the boards are also the same weight. So nothing else is going to be affected. The only difference that there will be is the weight of the trucks. I'm gonna set both of these up, then we're gonna go to the skate park down the street, and we're gonna test them out. We're gonna see what the real difference is between these trucks. Pros and cons of each. So I moved to the back of my house instead of the front because I was tired of sitting on the ground. Now, 
now that we have both boards set up, I got the ones with the light trucks here, the ones with the heavy trucks under my feet, the skate park is across the street, and we're gonna test both of these pairs of trucks out. I have like a few tests that I just wanna run. I want to pop the board, flip the board, see how heavy the trucks are when doing flip tricks. I also wanna grind the trucks and see how they grind. Now from based on experience, based on the experience that I've had skateboarding for the better half of two decades. The trucks are probably gonna grind the same and trucks tend to last just as long as any other trucks. I would say for the most part. Now, I have cracked trucks, several pairs. I usually don't get a new pair of trucks until I crack my trucks actually. If you grind your trucks all the way down to the axle, that's when they tend to start cracking. Just, I mean, you're grinding away metal, the truck gets weaker and it'll crack. We're not gonna be able to test out any of that today. My assumption is that both of them are going to last pretty long. Really, that's all we can really test today, but that's, I just wanna test out the difference in weight, essentially is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why it took me two minutes to say that. Okay, I'm gonna test the titanium ones first, just so that I'm experiencing the heavy board first, and that way I'll, I think I'll be able to notice easier on the lighter trucks if I skate the heavier ones first. I think that I'm gonna come to this conclusion pretty quick. It might not take long to figure out the difference and feel the difference in both of these trucks. So there might not be like, I don't know, too much. I'm just gonna stop talking, I'm gonna skate them. Okay, heavy feels, I mean, good. Doesn't feel weird at all. I don't know. And those are the lights. The lights feel fine too. Huh. I don't notice too big of a difference, but I mean, I think the real difference is probably gonna come when you're skating gaps, when you're in the air for longer, or when you need to pop over something really tall. Actually, I have an idea. That was the light board. Now the heavy one. Okay, so ollieing over this here block, this here bench, um, that's where I noticed the most difference. Okay, so unfortunately both of my batteries are dying So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm just gonna skate around the skate park and do a ton of different tricks and grinds And see if I notice any kind of difference at all between the trucks Okay, that was the heavy board. I'm gonna move to the lighter trucks now. Yo, you want some new trucks? Sure. Thanks. There you go. Thank you, Robert. Okay, so both of my camera batteries were dead. So right now I'm heading home. Uh, that, I gave those trucks actually to that kid. His name was Robert. He was, help, he was the one who helped film all this footage. So I wanted to say the only real place where I noticed the difference was when I was ollieing over that bench. I also made a mistake on calling those trucks the heavy ones titanium. Those are not. Titanium's lightweight metal. Those trucks were just the standard, polish, regular trucks, like not upgraded light trucks at all. So I have these hollow ones, and then the other ones I got were the titanium ones. I just made a mistake by calling them titanium. They are not titanium. They were the regular standard polished thunder trucks. Only spot where I noticed the real difference was in ollieing over that bench, like when I had to really try to pick up the board and lift the board over something. Okay, so I think my conclusion on the trucks is, like I previously stated, that the light ones definitely work better for if you're trying to actually get over an obstacle. They do tend to flip a little faster because I noticed that when flipping on the heavier polished standard trucks, the board was very bottom heavy. So it was flipping just a little bit slower. It is something that I could definitely get used to if I just skated the trucks for like a day, 24 hours, 48 hours, or what have you. Yeah, I mean, if you're a more technical street skater or if you like to ollie over taller things, 
I would probably recommend going with the lighter version of the trucks, although, like I previously said, you can't get used to skating the heavier trucks. I say this all the time in these videos, it is all about preference, so if you prefer a heavier truck because you like the way that that skates, then that's fine. You, that doesn't mean you need to go to lighter trucks so that you can skate better. It doesn't work like that, it's all about preference. You do have some advantages with the light trucks. Now a few things about the light trucks, why companies started making lighter trucks was because the natural progression of skateboarding, it became more technical. They they were flipping their boards a lot more, so naturally people wanted to figure out ways to make their board lighter. That's why people started taking the rails and their tail and nose guards off of their boards to get their board lighter and skate more technically. But also if you're somebody that doesn't care about this sort of thing and just wants a nice, solid, strong, long-lasting truck, then I would say the polished standard trucks are just fine. I don't want to say they're stronger because I don't think that's true, but I just think that you don't need to go super light if you're not technical skateboarder. If you're doing a lot of grinding and pool skating maybe, that's that's my assumption that the standard polished trucks might be better. I don't really know. I'm not going to I'm not saying to that. I'm not subscribing to that opinion. I'm just guessing. Yeah, I guess that's my conclusion. I don't know. I like the lights. I think those ones are the ones that I will personally stick with. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like, if you want to tell me anything about trucks, leave your experience between light and heavy standard trucks in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Um, you guys, I don't have any Oreos. I need to go get some. I know, I'm slacking very hard. I'm sorry. You can leave all your hate comments below about not me not having Oreos. I told you eight! Oh my god. I am the one, the way you're trying to- Dale, you know how to do this better than I do, right? Tell the truth.